What's up, this is Naked Eli, the Mostly Unclothed Gamer, bringing you a legendary speedrun guide for Assault in the Control Room. This is one of my favorite speedruns, has one of the hardest and coolest tricks to pull off in the entire game, similar to Silent Cartographer. If you really put in a lot of effort to this, it is well worth the payoff. We are literally going to despawn every single enemy on the mission, minus this first initial fight. So starting out, just chuck all your frag grenades, try and pistol your way through all those enemies, come into here, noob combo the crap out of that elite, he goes down, look up here, we got little grunts up on these rafters, they walk in and out of the windows. So notice on the second rafter that little grunt just came walking on out. Take him out, uh, you can use if you have any frag grenades over here for the jackals to make this go a little faster. And then we're just gonna run on through to the bridge. Now the bridge is where it gets really challenging, this is where the trick comes into play. So let me attempt to articulate how to do it, although I hope you can just use this video to watch the path as I do it. Okay, so you're going to hit a checkpoint there, and then we're going to come here, go into classic mode, inch ourselves off, hold down forward 75% of the way to land there, drop off where dark becomes light on that wall, and then we're going to curve around that mountain, land as high up as we can, and then hold down forward on the joystick so that we can actually stick the landing. Now stay in classic mode, obviously anniversary mode, the textures are all weird, now at this point you want to come up onto there and jump. You can sort of see a little triangle there that you have to land on. If you don't do that jump right there, you will fall off the mountain and die and go back to the checkpoint, which is no bueno. Right here, hug over this corner. You see this little corner right here? That's where we're going to drop off. So you hold down all the way backwards on the joystick and then boom, a little slide off of that. You don't have to press jump. You just drop straight down, hugging the wall and you should survive. Now what that does is that skips the bridge and the elevator fights, which literally doesn't spawn any enemies for the rest of the mission. So you just get to see this gorgeous winter wonderland, listening to super epic Halo music, and you're pretty much done with the mission. You just have to know the path and pretty much just follow what I'm going to do in this video. And that's how you do assault in the control room in about six minutes. There's really nothing else to it. However, I will say that that bridge drop is very difficult. Um, during our speedrunning race, I managed to land it relatively quickly, as did Mono, but I'm pretty sure Pro Ace Joker was stuck on it for like 35 to 45 minutes. He was getting really frustrated, obviously anybody would, but it's because it takes a lot of practice. Like I've spent probably literally hours practicing just that one trick over and over, not only from just doing regular speed runs, but also from just trying to practice it like legitimately, just sitting there and doing the checkpoint over and over and over so that during my race, I wouldn't choke completely, right? And so right there, I did choke on pressing that button though. Make sure you don't park the ghost too closely. That way it's, you know, in a, a little second or two there. And so... Basically, the hardest part of the bridge jump is hitting that second landing. The first one is kind of weird at first, but once you get that, you pretty much never die from it. Um, you inch yourself off the top of the bridge, and if you hold down forward all the way, you're going to die because you're going to land on a sort of flat portion. But if you actually hold down forward like 75% of the drop and then stop, that's what lands you on sort of that first layer that you drop from under the bridge. And then from there, um, I guess I'll tell you guys about the, the hidden, there's sort of a secret checkpoint that you can do. Basically, instead of hitting that checkpoint up in the first room where I told you guys like this is going to be the checkpoint that you're all sitting on, you can jump and melee the air all the way to that first layer where you drop under the bridge. And then you can kill the banshee and usually it will give you a checkpoint. Now that doesn't always work. But for people who are practicing the bridge jump for the very first time, um, I would actually recommend you guys try to do this. So as you're coming through that hallway to the bridge, start jumping up and down and pressing the melee button, and that's going to basically delay the checkpoint. By delaying the checkpoint, you give yourself more chances faster at the second part of that drop, which is by far the most difficult. And so... From that drop, you do it, you literally have to follow the exact path that I take in this video. You have to drop off at that exact point, and you'll notice in classic mode that the wall will turn from this darkish color, like literally black, to a more of a white grayish color. 
Right here, by the way, if you have frag grenades, you can jump up into that first rafter and that will take you directly to that point there. But if you don't have any grenades or you just want to take the easy safe route, you can just shoot that window and run on through. So back to the bridge jump, you basically drop right there where the, the dark becomes light and then you hold down forward the entire way that you're dropping. Now the problem is, so that basically will carry your momentum to get you as far to the side of that cliff as I got. And you'll notice when you're dropping, there's sort of a dark circle that, um, that you'll see. And then to the right of that, there's another dark area. We wanna hit basically above and to the right of that second dark area. And that's basically the highest point on that cliff. So by landing on that highest point, when you hold down forward to slow yourself down, that, that long ledge is what's gonna save you. If you drop from too high, then you'll die from the, um, just the drop timer and the fall damage. Or you'll, you'll basically, if you do hit the cliff and you drop from too high, you'll just fly right off. And if you drop from too low, then you won't be able to make it that far to the right. So the, the other key component to the, the bridge drop is that you can't just basically hold down like straight to the right and forward. You have to actually go back a little bit around sort of this hump that's on the mountain. And if you do that perfectly, so you'll notice if you rewatch the jump over and over, there's an arc. And you can basically arc around that mountain and then hold down forward all the way to hit the drop. So I hope that's clear. I tried to explain it as best as I could while showing you guys the path of the rest of the run. And I'll see you guys next time on 343 Guilty Spark. Peace.